Lecturer of Physics and Astronomy at University College London. Always good to have you on this news hour. So what information are we expecting to get from Changi 6 and how is it going to help us here on Earth? Uh, yes, well, you made a big catalog of uh, possibilities there in your introduction. Um, the most important thing in this particular mission, of course, there are two aspects. One is the technology, the fantastic technological achievement of China of repeating Changi 5 and now Changi 6 with a completely robotic mission involving several spacecraft working in coordination and now in the, with the lack of communication far side of the moon that you need an extra satellite to, to relay the, the signals and everything worked beautifully. See, so when I was uh, on the launch as well, I was here on television on launch, on the launch uh, nearly two months ago, and uh, we were kind of a bit nervous because of the complexity and the challenges ahead, and it was just fantastic. So that's number one. Number two is the scientific achievement. Yes, the moon has resources and all this, but uh, we had to debate these uh, possibilities of exploiting resources for here and on Earth. This is a, a very complicated issue. But the scientific result here is very important. Why did they choose the far side? Why did they choose the Aiken Basin? That is the point. What kind of terrain, what kind of rocks, what kind of minerals are there that are important scientifically? And the, Lund the Aiken Basin is... Uh, a, a big depression on the moon produced by an impact of a, a big asteroid impact in the early stages, in the few hundred million years uh, in the formation of the solar system that excavated this enormous Aiken Basin, which is the size of Western Europe. Imagine that. It's two and a half thousand kilometers across. And then it is very deep because, of course, with the impact it created, uh, this, this excavated this very deep, nearly uh, eight kilometers deep. And that... Uh, produces a kind of material which is unique on the surface of the moon. And we have a sample of that material. And remember, this Changi 6 has done two different samples, one on the surface, excavating something from the surface, and one nearly two meters deep to really find out the material there, which will be rich in, in, in minerals and conditions on the conditions of the, of the material that are going to give enormous scientific information about the formation of the solar system, about the formation of the moon, and, of course, there will be a kind of um, uh, uh, understanding of the composition of the moon in this very diverse part of the, of, of the moon that uh, will, will complement all the, all the samples that we have from previous missions. It is fascinating. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. It's very exciting. And the Chinese have really pulled off this incredible uh, mission. Francisco, I'm wondering then, uh, with the Chinese going to the far side of the moon, which other areas of uh, that surface would be explored next? And what are some of the challenges of actually getting to those areas? Yes, the... Um, uh, 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 Changi 5 broke basalts, which are very old, the, old, the, the, well, the youngest basalts that, that we have on the moon, on the, near, on the near side of the moon. That was a very, again, they excavated uh, deep into these basalts, and then it brought it several years back, and um, it has been very important. Now we have these samples from the Aiken Basin. What else? Well, we have the South Pole itself, because the Aiken Basin is not exactly the South Pole, it's just touching the South Pole, and this is uh, a little bit far for the South Pole, which is the place where humanity uh, will find uh, uh, settlements there because uh, it has several conditions that have been found uh, before for settlements with uh, um, less solar radiation, uh, uh, water uh, available as well. So uh, the next I will see, the, the next step will be to explore uh, near the Shackleton crater, which is near the South, South Pole, explore that area and bring uh, samples back uh, to the Earth from that mm -hmm. area, which will be uh, also very, very challenging. But the next step, of course, and, they, and China is very keen on this, I'm very happy for that, is to, to open all this uh, research for the uh, global community, for international community. It is a multinational uh, mission already, and they are offered these samples to everybody interested in analyzing them, mm -hmm. as they did with the other previous missions. And it is, uh, it is uh, very important to uh, see this landscape of uh, cooperation rather than competition yeah. uh, appearing. Absolutely, truly fascinating. What a great find for the scientific community. Francisco Diego in London, thank you very much.